fire. And all it does is just slide right on here, and then you just let it go. This is the 3D printed drone launcher from Frog Force Team 503 to all of um, First Tech Challenge teams. So we used a rubber band mechanism and we just um, rounded the rubber band. We used two rubber bands and rounded it here a bunch of times for more tension. The, the This um, printed model has three different um, tensions. You can have the bottom one, which is the least tension. Over here we have a middle one and the highest tension. You can adjust it before you enter the field during a game. All you do is pull it back before the game and then you la latch onto it with a servo or however you want to and then just release it. It'll shoot. Right now I am holding it with my hand. You place the airplane, the back of the airplane on that surface on the white slidable piece. Which I will do right now. Then all you do is release it. Thank you. All you have to do is take out the top plate and put the slider in between the bottom and top plate center holes. You secure it using screws in the front over here and the back over here. To attach the drone launcher to your robot, we have created two slots on the right and left hand side for you so that you can just clamp it down over here and in the front over here. So that's how you secure it. We also recommend using a 15 millimeter metal inside channel servo bracket to attach the servo to the um, side of the robot. Um, what you do now is you just add a stick or whatever you want to, to the servo and get it in between this slot here, the hook in the back. One, go.